Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Let us go ahead and pray to start this uh, prayer meeting this morning, giving thanks to God for all he has done for us individually and corporately uh, for, since last week up until now. Uh, let us enter his gates with thanksgiving and his court with praise this morning. Let us pray. Father Almighty, we thank you. We worship and adore you. We exalt your holy name. We declare there is none like you. There is none besides you. We declare you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the everlasting Father. You are God in whom there is no variableness, neither a shadow of turning. You are Alpha and Omega. You are worthy of our praise, and we brings we bring our gratitude to you this morning. Please let it rise up unto you a sweet smelling offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As we enter into this time Amen. of worship, Father, we relinquish the reign of our thoughts, of our uh, 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 utterances, of everything, the totality of our being unto you. We say, guide us, O Lord. Give us the wisdom, the unction to know what to say and how to say it in your presence because uh, we know we should not rush into your presence and yet we know in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Take absolute control of this meeting, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
I've been there 10,000 years, yeah, you. Mm. bright, shining as the sun. Yeah. I will have no less days to sing God's praise yeah, you. than when we first began. Amazing grace. Yes. Amazing grace. Yes. Our yes. testimony hour this morning, we want to start with some 34 verses 1 to 6. I will praise the Lord at all times. Mm, hallelujah. Amen. I will constantly speak his praises. Amen. I will boast only in the Lord. Hallelujah. And by the way, let all who are helpless take heart. Amen. Mm. Come. Let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Mm -hmm. Let us exalt his name together. Mm -hmm. Because I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. Yes. He freed me from all my fears. Yes. And by the way, those who look to him for help will be radiant Amen. with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. Amen. Because in my own desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved Amen. me from mm. all my trouble. You see the intentionality in the action of the psalmist. He even showed us a one purpose, one dimension of purpose of his uh, testimony. His testimony is to encourage others. Then, because he encouraged others by saying, let all who are helpless take heart. I'm telling you that God, he helped me. Mm. So if, if you feel helpless, be joyful. He will mm. help you also. And he went on to say, look, those who look to him for help will be radiant. Amen. They will be joyful. There will Amen. be no shadow of shame on Amen. their faces. Amen. Then he invited you and I to join him, to praise God. He said, come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt the, his name together. And he gave us the basis for his call and for his testimony. He says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He Amen. freed me from all my fears. Amen. He said in verse six, in my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. Now, who amongst us here has prayed for one thing or the other in the past week? And he knows for sure and for sure that God answered him. I will lead the way. Uh, this week, many things happened. And uh, we called upon the name of the Lord. Yes. And he answered us. Hallelujah. We had a meeting yesterday that... Uh, we attended gingerly. Mm -hmm. But by the grace of God, God took control Amen. of everything. Because if he said, look, in this world, there will be trials, there will be tribulations. He says, yeah. be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In other words, there is nothing that can happen to us outside of his purview. Mm -hmm. He will take charge of everything and he took charge of everything. That is my testimony. If there is anybody here this morning that is disappointed about a thing or, or, or another, discouraged about a thing or another, I am here to tell you that our God is still on the throne. Amen. And the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ is still potent, will continue to be potent. Be encouraged. That is my own testimony. What is your own testimony? Is there anybody that want to Join me to share their testimony this morning. Good morning, everybody. 
Amen. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, Mrs. Ige. Mama? Ekaro. Yes. Ekaro. And Bishop's mother. <laughs> I've been willing to give my testimony a long time ago. Hallelujah. But because of my memory, I don't know. But I'm so glad this morning that I'm hearing your voices. Don't Amen. let me take your time because I have a lot of testimonies to give. I know it's by grace of God that I'm still living. Hallelujah. Mm. About three times I fell in the top, in the bathroom, nobody to, to save me. Mm. And because of that, my daughter gave me a cane to be using. And since then, I've not fought. Man. I'm so Man. glad. The Lord is treating me. I've heard about many cases from home mm. that my people, my relations, they were dying. But here am I. Even some are there that I'm so, I mean, I'm older than they do. But the Lord is saving me. I have some... Uh, I have the grace of God. Amen. Living. And that's yeah. why Charlie recites the Psalm 103. Hallelujah. You without reciting it every morning and at night. Hallelujah. Thank God for my children. Amen. They are doing a lot, spending a lot over me. Mm. For, mm. I thank God for that. Amen. And I thank God once again for speaking and you'll be hearing me and I'm hearing you. Amen. I love you all. I love you all. I love you, Mama. We love you, Ma. We love you, Ma. We love you. Ma. We love you, Ma. We love you, Ma. you know, I usually pray after this thing, but this morning we will sing. Oh, we yes. bring a sacrifice of praise. praise. Into the house of the Lord, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. What do we do? And we all to do as sacrifice and we thank you, we worship you, we adore you, we are thankful for the strength that you have given my mom. You have said in her old age, her children will be like olive trees around mm. her. Hallelujah. And you have given her as a grace. Father, mm. uh, you have given her the health, even mm. after falling many times, you mm. have made her strong and she's yes, praising Lord. you in the land of the living with her voice not represented by a stone. Uh, Father, Lord, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, the rest of the journey is in your hand. We just yes, commit Father. her into your hand that, mm. Lord, you will be with her every step of the way. You are Amen. the real joy giver. You will put in her heart your mm. joy because in Amen. your presence there is fullness of joy at your right Amen. hand. There are pleasures forevermore. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We still Amen. have room for more testimony this morning. Anybody else wants to go? What is the Lamb? Hallelujah, Mama. I want to thank God for the joy of salvation. Hallelujah. In my life, the joy of protection. Hallelujah. The joy of deliverance. Yes. In every aspect of my life and my family. Yes, Lord. Today is the Lamb. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, we just come to you thanking you not only for Mama Babatope, not only for the Babatope family, but all of us present here because we have seen a lot in our lives, yet we know it is because of your salvation that we are able to face these challenges and overcome yes, them. It is because of your deliverance that we have been made to be successful in our mm. lives. Mm. We give you mm. thanks. We give you adoration. We mm. worship and adore you. We thank you. We mm. thank you. If all of the hairs of our heads were to be tongues, they could never be sufficient to express our gratitudes unto you this morning. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. mighty name, we have prayed. We have time for still Hallelujah. one more testimony. Who is going to encourage others? Who is on the Lord's side that mm -hmm. will encourage others with their own testimony this morning? Baba Oliver, welcome online. We have not had well, your voice ever. We want to hear well, this morning. What well, is the love? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I just want to praise God this morning. Hallelujah. And uh, to let us know that God is always faithful. Amen. Uh, God watches over us. Amen. I was sharing this testimony last week. When I called the when I spoke with the bishop, mm -hmm. actually I wanted to give this test testimony last week, but we took only two that 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 day. So, what happened is that, you see, when we pray, when we go out every day, say, Lord, give uh, give your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Mm -hmm. You might just say those prayers, but you don't know how far they go. Because God watches over us. My Amen. wife drove out of the clinic two Saturdays ago. Then on her way home, she had to cross the road, you know, to cross the oppos opposite lane. She was driving the, the lane coming opposite on the, on the right. She had to cross it to take a shortcut. Now, at the point where she was waiting, her front tire, the left tire, just went down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. crossed over and then entered one space there and called me. So, long story short, we called the insurance. Mm -hmm. The insurance came because we couldn't loosen the knots. They used this air boat. It was so tight. They came, eventually they had to tow the car to Tire Plus, and the car to the Tire Plus. Well, when we got there, in fact, we didn't know the tire was that bad. Normally, my wife drives at very high speed, and um, which I'm not always comfortable with. And that was a Saturday. Probably the next day we would have been coming to church or going somewhere else. Then... The people in Tire Plus said, ah, you people are very, very lucky because the tire split lengthwise along the line. Wow. They said, if this had happened on a modern speed, this car would have tumbled. Mm. Father, we thank you. Mm. So, I mean, I was so thankful to God because when we came, it didn't sink in immediately. When we came home, the next, uh, in the night, I was just praying and thinking about this. Then I realized what could have happened, mm -hmm. how bad it could have been. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank God and lift up his name and tell us that God watches over us. Amen. Amen. Wherever we go, when we even when we are doing our other things, God gives his angels charge over us and over they watch us. over us. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we Hallelujah. thank you. Not only for your provision, but specifically for your protection over our lives. Mm. For protecting Mama, for protecting her that there was no accident. Even when she stopped in the median to try and replace the tire that you did not allow any accident to befall them. Father, thank you that uh, even while she was uh, driving, not knowing that there may have been a problem, you 
were working in the background to protect her. Father, mm. we worship yes. and adore you. Yes, Lord. Protection. We thank you that you have not made our eyes to be that of crying eyes, yet mm. you have made our lips to be that of smiling lips. Yes, this Lord. Morning. Yes, Father, Lord. Lord. Receive all the glory, receive all the adoration, and Father, we commit yeah. her into your hand and the entire family. Father, please continue to protect them in every yeah. way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In your holy name, we worship and adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Good Bishop, morning, over George. to you. Good, Good morning. morning. The first scripture reading for today's solution hour shall be taken from the book of Kings, first King chapter 19, from verse 1 to 8. Let us hear the word of God. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with his sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life like the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid. He got up and fled for his life and came to Bathsheba, which belongs to Judah. He left his servant there. Verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a solitary broom tree. He asked that he might die. It is enough. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my ancestors. Mm -hmm. Then he lay down under the broom tree and fell asleep. Suddenly, an angel touched him and said to him, Get up and eat. He looked. And there at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time, touched him and said, Get up and eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. Verse 8, which is the last verse. He got up and ate and drank. Then he went in the strength of that food, 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb, the mount of God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. The second reading shall be taken from 1 John, the epistles of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 11, from verse 11 to 16. 1 John, chapter 4, from verse 11 to 16. Let us hear the word of God. Beloved, since God loves us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. <coughs> Verse 14, and we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. Verse 16, which is the last one. So we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. Here is the second scripture reading, and the gospel reading shall be taken from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 from verse 1 to 13. Gospel according to Matthew from verse 1 to 13. Let us hear the word of God. Now, He went on from there to preach and proclaim his message in their spirit. When John had in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent words by his disciple and said to him, Are you the one who is to come? Or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, 
Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. Verse 7. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in a soft robe? Look, those who wear soft clothes and in, in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, I'm more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Verse 11, truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and the violence taken by force. Verse 13, which is the last verse. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 Let us be in a state of expectation. We have heard the word of God being read. Let us ask God that this logos, this logos that has been read to us, that the Lord himself will turn it to Rema. Amen. Amen. That we will be able to hear, interpret, and harness what God is saying to us. Amen. Precious Redeemer, the entrance of your word bringeth light. Amen. As you speak to us now, let our hearts be illuminated. Amen. We are grateful for this month of March. Amen. We claim all the blessings you prepared for us in this month of March. Amen. And we confess by faith that March 2024 will be the very best month of our lives Amen. for every single one of us and members of our families. Amen. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed be your holy name, Father. In Jesus' Amen. mighty and victorious name, we give you praise. Amen. 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 We welcome everyone once again to solution hour number 25. Solution hour number 25 is like yesterday we started. We give God the glory for preserving this program that he divinely initiated. And we pray that it will continue to glorify him, most importantly, and impact lives to bring healing, to bring comfort, to bring solutions to elevate people, to Amen. inspire people, motivate, Amen. to strengthen, to increase anointing Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We want to put on record that the readings of today are was directed by the Holy Spirit. And I believe these passages are speaking to somebody here. I know they are speaking to me. I know they are speaking to me. And, and, and I pray that God himself will amplify the message we will receive at this time. Amen. Real quick, Amen. what we have as a theme is prevailing faith. Prevailing faith. That's the theme for today's solution R number 25. And the text is taken from Matthew chapter 11, verses 4 to 6. Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John those things which you do hear and see. 
The blind receive their sight. The lame are walking. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is the man or woman who does not lose his faith in me. Prevailing faith. So let's just focus on verse 6. Whenever we've opened our Bibles, let's focus on verse 6. Blessed is the man or woman who does not lose his or her faith in me. I'll tell us something real quick about this passage. We'll look a little bit at what the passage in the encounter between God and Elijah in the Old Testament, 1 Kings 19, also represents. And then we'll look a little bit at what Apostle John was teaching us in 1 John chapter 4 from verses 11 to 16. So let's, let's look first of all, let's look first of all at this passage. Who is John the Baptist? Who is John the Baptist? Now, you know, when I use is, I understand that the grammar is to represent present continuous. Present continuous. And this is adequate for the person we are talking about. Is adequate. Now, listen. Our Lord Jesus Christ described him from verses 7 to 11 of the passage we read. From 7 to 11. And concluded in verse 11 that among men, among those born of woman, there is no one that is greater than John the Baptist. That's the conclusion. When we get home, we can look at all of the other descriptions, all of the other eulogies that our Lord Jesus Christ invested in him by way of citation. We can look at that. But this is who this man is. If we remember historically, this is also the man that biologically and by family relationship is a cousin to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember the story of immaculate conception of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember his incarnation. Bible records that when he was about to be conceived, he visited, the mom visited, the mom visited the cousin Elizabeth. And she was six months already in state. Someone who had not had children before. So it stands to reason that these two young men would have grown up together. So at the time our Lord Jesus Christ started his ministry, he was 30 years, and John the Baptist was 30 years and six months. It stands to reason. When was that? 1994 years ago. Is it not? So, what we had here was in the physical and family relationship, they were brothers. In the spiritual realm, they also had a connection. He was the forerunner, the one that went, a voice proclaiming in the, in the wilderness. And he told people who Jesus was. He says, look, I baptize you with water, he will baptize you with fire. That's who he is. I'm not worthy to untie the laces of his shoes. He said that. These are the people we are talking about. But look at what challenges, human challenges can do. Look at what protracted challenges can do. Bible says hope delayed makes the heart grow weary. Look at what problems, unsolved problems can do. In the passage we read, by the time that John the Baptist had remained in prison for too long, he was constrained, verse 2, to call two of his disciples and say, guys, go to Jesus Christ and ask him this question for me. Are you the one that is to come or are we to expect another? How could he have forgotten that even when they were children, the divine nature of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ kept manifesting. How could he have forgotten that when they were 12 years and 12 and a half years, 
and they went to the temple that our Lord Jesus Christ manifested greater grace than anybody his age. How could he have forgotten that he was the same one when Jesus came for baptism? Say, no, Lord, you should be the one baptizing me. But Jesus said, let it be so that we'll fulfill all righteousness. He remembered. He could remember. But the challenge of being in prison and wondering why he would remain in prison while his brother will be out there and not get him out of prison. And then our Lord Jesus Christ answered in verses 4 to 6. Signs and wonders, miracles are taking place, and you need not to lose your faith in me, verse 6. Now, if we go to the Old Testament, this was Elijah. And if you look at Matthew eleven fourteen, 14, our Lord Jesus Christ said again, and if you receive it, this is Elijah who was for to come. That's in the New Testament. In the Old, did you see what happened to Elijah? Elijah had crushed 400 prophets of Baal. And when one stupid, sinful, unrighteous woman called Jezebel said she was coming for him, Bible says he became afraid and asked God. He said, there is nothing more. His, his kinsmen are dead. Take him as well. He lost hope. Prevailing faith. He lost hope. But God is faithful. Fed him with a little and said, go forth. What you have received is enough to see you through 40 days and 40 nights. Again, we look at what Apostle John was teaching us in 1 John from verse 4. 1 John chapter 4 from verses 11 to 16, particularly verse 16. He says, we have come to know and believe the love that God has for us. How do we apply all of this to our situations? What prison? What prison are we in, any of us right now? Prison of protracted illness, prison of financial distress, prison of relationships that are being broken asunder, prison of insecurity, prison of any form of disease, infirmity, or ailment. And so what are we going to do? Are we going to forget his amazing grace, which we just remembered or we are reminded of today and which we use in worshiping him? Are we going to forget the multitudes of blessings he has showered upon us from when we were born till now? Are we going to forget the miracles, signs and wonders, the testimonies he has given us? Are we going to look away from his grace, mercies and favor and then give more credit to the problem and get to a point where we either say like the prophet Elijah, take me, uh, it's better to die than to continue like this. Or like John the Baptist, say, are you the one that is to come? Or we should expect another. The choice is yours. The battle is won in our hearts. First Corinthians 13, 13, and there remain it. These three virtues, faith, hope, Love, prevailing faith, prevailing hope, prevailing love, understanding that God's love for us is greater than any problem that can ever come our way. That's the way to victory. That's the path to prevailing solutions in every dimension of our lives. May the Lord help us. May the Lord strengthen us. May the Lord Amen. grant us the grace to prevail Amen. in faith, hope, Amen. and love. Amen. And may we then Shout out our victory and be able to testify Amen. such that he is glorified and the lives of men Amen. are touched. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let us at this time. The worthy is the lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This evening we are blessed because of the message we have received from God. And I want us to ponder upon what God has spoken to us. First of all, let's lift up our voices and say, Father, thank you for the word that you have spoken to us today. Can we lift up our voices? 
God has a good plan. He said, see, I know the plans I have for you. They need the plan of good and not of evil. Give you an expected end. Can you open your mouth and say, Father, to you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the praise. To you be all the adoration. Can we exalt the name of God? Can we exalt the name of the Lord? Let the name of the Lord with me, O Let us worship God. Bless the be the name of the Lord. Bless the be the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want us, before we bring out our prayer point, let's pray a few prayers from the passages we have read. Number one, when we look at uh, our, the first passages, we read the first Kings chapter 17. We discovered certain things which I want us to look at it together. The Bible said in verse one that, uh, that he have returned and told Jezebel what... Uh, Elijah has done to the prophet, how he killed all the prophets of Baal. And there was some reaction by Jezebel. The Bible said Jezebel arose and sent message and sent messengers to the man of God and sent messengers to the man of God. First, he told him, by this time, time tomorrow. Now, first of all, let us start by saying every evil messenger Every evil messenger, every evil messenger sent from the pit of hell, sent from every altar of evil messenger, every evil messenger that carries violence, 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 that carries Every evil messenger, every evil messenger that carry evil tidings, that have carry evil news, that carry evil message, oh, oh, the set of death, the name of Jesus, the sickness, the members of our messenger, the messengers of evil, the messengers of the 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 Amen. we pray. Number Amen. two, Amen. he said the message carried us. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, if I don't deal with you, by this time tomorrow, if your head still remain on your neck, be, let the gods of the land deal with me. Can you see such a message? And now we want to pray. He said a time to deal with uh, the man of God. He said a time. He said by this time tomorrow, I want to pray. In the month of March, every set, every evil set time. Set time to destroy me. Set time to frustrate me. Set time to to make me cry. Set time for sickness. Set time and say by this time, by this time next month, by this time next year, by this time every evil set time to destroy my life, to destroy my family. Can we lift up our voice and say in the name of Jesus? Every set time, every evil set time, every evil set time, every evil set time, every evil set time that is set. Destroy me. That is said to protect me. That is said to fight my life. That is said. That is said time to the feet of hell. That is said time to destroy that which I have held. That is said time to protect that which I have done. That is said time to cause disaster, to cause sickness, to cause problems in my life, in my family. Every set time set for me to have my children. Time set for me to have my children. Yes, 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 y
I want us to play another one from still that passage. The Bible said when when Elijah heard this message, the Bible said he picked up his bed and ran. He left his place of assignment. God set him there to do things. But because of the message, because of the messenger he received from Jezebel, he picked rest. We want to pray one more prayer and say, Lord, I reject every message. Every message that will displace me from my place of assignment, that will displace me from divine assignment, from divine engagement. Every message sent that will displace Place me that would chase me away from the presence of God, that would chase me away from my destiny, that would chase me away and drop me into the wilderness and drop me into the place of agony and drop me into the place I would regret action. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, every messenger, every message in the month of March that will take me away from grace, that will take me away from the presence of God, that will scare me, that will bring fear, that will motivate me fear in my life, my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, two more prayer points. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I want you to pray this prayer very serious. Every Jezebel in my family. Every Jezebel, Jezebel is a sort, is sort a representative that doesn't want good things. That is a, a priest to darkness that represents the kingdom of darkness. Jezebel represent bad things, represent, I mean, he is a representative of God. We want to pray every Jezebel, every Jezebel in my family, every Jezebel in my life, wherever Jezebel is connecting my life to, I disconnect my life from Jezebel. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray? Jezebel. I mean, not inject fear into the life of people. Jezebel intimidated. Jezebel brings men out of their destiny. It sent men into wilderness. Can we open up and begin to pray? Let it be. Two more prayer point, and we are good. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to intercede upon our life first. In that Matthew verse 11, or chapter 11 and verse 2, the Bible said, and then John the Baptist heard with the miracle that Jesus heard the work Jesus was doing. He heard about the good things of the Lord. He heard what Jesus is doing. I want us to pray and say, Lord, in my life, in the thousands of USA, they will hear of good things. They will hear of the Amen. miracle. They will hear Amen. of my blessing. They will hear of my lifting. They will hear of my promotion. They will hear Amen. of how God is favoring me. They will hear of how God is working. The Bible said, even to the priest. I mean, John the Baptist heard, heard what Jesus did, heard the miracle Jesus performed. He heard, can you pray, Lord, and say, Lord, starting from the thousands, they will hear of us. They will hear of the thousands. Amen. Amen. We hear the news. They will hear the good things. Amen. They will hear the blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, I tell you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 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 Thank Lastly, from that passage, lastly, from that passage, let, let there be clear evidence. 
Let there be clear evidence in my life. This doubt is called doubt yeah. of solution. Yes. Clear evidence. Yes. The Bible says, yes. and when John the Baptist yes. sent message and yes. said, Are you the one? You are you Christ? Are you Jesus? Are you the one we expect? Or yes. do we expect another? And Jesus replied and said, Go and tell him. The blind are seeing, the dead are hearing, the lame are walking, the dead are rising. Clear evidence. Can you open your mouth and say, Father, 2024, in the month of man. They shall be clear evidence. They shall be clear. 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 They shall Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we make a decree to anyone and to those who are traveling and to those who are sick in their body and to those who are looking for help from you, help from men, we will join our faith together. You are God of all sufficient. You are God of all grace. You are God of all possibility. You are God that makes a way where there is no way. We bring and we make a demand to anyone in need of God. They will find Amen. God in the of Thank Amen. you for hearing us. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Wadi, wadi, wadi is the lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to give God all the glory. Solution R number 25. And is the first one in the month of March. Let us claim the blessings of March. M is for miracles. Beyond our imaginations this year. A is for absolution and atonement Amen. in all ramifications. Amen. R is for Amen. revival. Revival in our prayer Amen. life, revival in our bodies, Amen. revival in our homes, Amen. revival in our finances, revival Amen. in our church. Amen. Revival Amen. in MCN, Diocese of USA, the Diocese of Solution. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. C Amen. is for charity. Charity Amen. is love. We will Amen. show love, we will receive love. All Amen. of creation will work Amen. in our favor. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it is Amen. for healing, spiritual healing, physical healing, financial Amen. healing, material Amen. healing, political Amen. healing. So shall it be for all of us. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we confess. Amen. 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 As we are rounding up, we'll take some prophetic prayers for the next couple of minutes. Let us still be believing God, expecting God in his infinite mercies to say something to us. Prophetic prayers this time. Now, when we look at the passage, the gospel where we read, even in the message and in the intercessory prayers, there is something we must capture again. The gospel, Matthew 11, Verses 12 and 13 say something. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Look at verse 13. 
for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. So until the dispensation of grace, grace that allowed us to break the boundary between man and God, we were being controlled, directed, coordinated, monitored by the law and the prophets. But when John the Baptist came, the dispensation of grace as a forerunner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember, six months in physical aid difference. When he came forth, Anno Domino, because he's tied to the time and era, the dispensation of our Lord. From that time, history turned completely to become his story, his story of Jesus Christ, his story of grace. His story of mercy, his story of us having capacity to do those things that we have been prevented from doing by the fall of Adam in the Garden of Eden. What does violence mean? It doesn't mean taking guns and hitting the streets. Oh, but violence means praying with prevailing faith. Violence oh. means things all around us and saying, no, I don't want to tie my destiny to what I see. I tie my destiny to faith in the word of God. Brethren, there are 7,000 promises God has made to us. Hallelujah. So Amen. we are not moved by the things that the world or people tell us. Oh, there's a doctor's report for somebody that mm. is going to watch this program. And the doctor's report suggests to you that it is getting worse. But faith says it's getting better. Amen. Let, all men, let all men be liars. Oh, mm. you look at your bank account. It the is. figures are not good. But it's not about the figures. Genesis 17.1 calls him El Shaddai the all-sufficient God. And he revealed to mm -hmm. Apostle Paul, and when he wrote to the church in Corinth, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8, that because we have sown the seed of giving cheerfully, joyfully, we also, like El Shaddai, we have all sufficiency, all mm -hmm. sufficiency to mm -hmm. be generous, to do what God wants us to do. Just mm -hmm. look into this and say, Father, in this Father, month of March going forward, I march into my victory. I march into my dominion. I march into my fruitfulness. I march into fulfillment of my expectations. I march into divine health more than ever before. Renew my youth, O Lord, like that of the eagles. I refuse to be constrained by nature. Why? Because I am supernatural. I refuse to be constrained by the ordinary because I am a extraordinary. I refuse to be constrained by my human limitations because I'm the temple of the living God and the Holy Spirit living in me manifests the power of God. That's who I am. I'm not who the world says I am. I'm definitely not who the devil says I am. I am who you say I am, Lord Jesus. I am who you say I am, Lord the Father. I am who the Holy Spirit says I am. And he says I'm a citizen of heaven. He says my name is written reason. in the book of life. He says Christ in me is the hope of glory. He says I am more than a conqueror. That's who I am. As we march on in this month of March, 2024, the very best month of our lives, we march on to dimensions of blessings, dimensions of God's grace, mercies, and favor that we have ever known before. All of our help will come from him and supernatural manifestations of his power in us and through us will be apportioned unto us. Yes, miracles, signs, and wonders will be apportioned to us. He will take the glory and will be blessed more than ever before. Members of our families will be blessed more than ever before. Amen. Our beloved nation, the United States of America, our beloved nations, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Cameroon, and other countries represented on this prayer mountain, on this solution mountain. They will be blessed more than ever before. And Amen. testimonies will abound. This is the point also we commemorate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So it's a month of victory in all ramifications. So Amen. shall it be. Above Amen. all things, O oh Lord, sustain all of us to continue to run the heavenly race in righteousness. Amen. And please, in your mercy, keep us members of our families, members Amen. of this diocese, and our Amen. loved ones, rapturable. For Amen. in Jesus' mighty 
and victorious name, we give you praise. Amen. 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 So with boldness, let us all confess together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the darkness of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The grace in fellowship. The grace now, of our Lord the Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. What is the Lamb? Hallelujah.